I'm going to get the battery out and get the wires ran. So it looks like this bracket is different from the previous card I had. I found that out by this my old fuse holder doesn't fit this bracket I made onto that spot right there. So I'm gonna have to do something else to hold a fuse. And I think this here. So gonna disregard the fuse for now. Don't worry about that later. I'm gonna run this wire through that grommet right there. Battery's already removed. Makes it a little bit easier. So I was having a hard time running the wire this direction. Um, so I'm going to go from the other side. You can see right there, I poked my screwdriver through. And then there's another one of these right there. And that's what that one's going through right now. No, it's not. I missed. Okay. Hmm. Well, basically, I'm going to try to go the other one down there which that screwdriver is going through right now i'll show you on this side so that's my screwdriver and then that's the grommet right there I got this wire puller, that red thing right there, pull through the grommet. I'm gonna tape this power wire onto it and route it through. And there you can see the wire puller pull through. I'm going to soap it up a little bit to help facilitate getting it through easily. Alright, that's the wire puller. This is the wire I'm going to tape onto it and rot it through.
Get them out of tape so it doesn't slip. I'm just gonna soap the crap out of it. I'm just gonna use hand soap. Come on. Dishwashing soap is a good one, like Dawn. It's all soaked up. Once we get it through, it's going to be pretty slippery. So the idea of using soap is that it will eventually dry up. And it won't leave any messy, oily residue. So if it gets wet again, it'll just be able to I got the wire puller through right now. I'm gonna try to. There we go. So the wire is routed through, and I think that's all I really need to come out. That's how simple that is. I mean, yeah, you just no struggle as long as you prep it right. So here's another look at it. This is a special wire tool puller, wire pulling tool through grommets. And then just tape it up really good and then soap it up with something slippery and then it'll go through. Now I just need to unwrap the tape. One wire through that grommet hole without too much struggle. Alright, this bracket that I made before is just not gonna work because this bracket changed. So, what I'm doing is I'm gonna actually design a new bracket and it is out of cardboard. Well, for mock up at least. So, those are the mounting points that I'm gonna have and then I'm gonna ordering a new fuse holder or circuit breaker whatever it is this is the one that i was using previously but it is too big to fit in this general vicinity you see how there's no clearance so i get something more like compact and then once i get it i'll trace it onto here and mock this cardboard version of the template out and then either make it out metal or I'm going to try to cat it and 3D print it. So this bracket I cut and shaped by hand with like tin snips and a hammer and a vice grip. I mean table vice. Still a work in progress. But basically Bounce up, bolts onto the same point that I had on my previous one. Similar idea. These were like straight across from each other, straight up. This one's um, staggered a little bit, so I had to make it from scratch. I didn't get on film, but I started with a piece of cardboard. I kind of laid it out to where I wanted it. See yeah, how those two spots line up. So I marked it and then had a flat piece of metal and then I shaped it into the shape. It's looking good so far. Um, only thing I'm not happy about is the fuse holder would not sit straight still. It would sit at an angle like this because I can't get it to go straight. It's gonna hit into here, the wires and just straight come out. I don't think I thought it through. I think initially I was gonna have to sit this spot, but that's
that's way too far forward. So I think I'm gonna go with that like this. I'm gonna mount the battery into place to make sure it fits before I proceed. So basically kind of sit like that. All right, well, change of plans actually. I wanna actually go back with this fuse holder. I mean, circuit breaker. I just did some mock-up and actually this will go straight. Won't look so out of place and mount down there. And the wire can still come here and come out here without hitting anything. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, this looks way better than previously too because it sits so low. Cool. Get this taken out of here. I'm gonna run some nut certs onto this piece and get it painted. And be all done. Here's another look at the bracket. In here's another look in the bracket I made. So those two big holes are where the bolts go. You see, I kind of tapered the ends too to make it uh, look more OEM looking. Obviously, there's going to be a bunch of holes, so it's not super OEM looking, but this is what it looks like. And again, I made this out of hand. Just did a lot of measuring and then cutting and filing and then bending into shape. All right, got the roof nuts in place. Make it a little bit easier to install. I have to hold the nut on the other side. It's a little bit off center, but I think maybe it's a good thing. I think I was installing it. That makes it center because when I marked the holes, it was that's where I marked it. So looking at it some more, I decided I'm going to cut some more metal off. That's where the line I'm going to cut just to remove some more metal that's not needed. And then I'm going to round that off as well, just like these edges. All right, got the panel cut. I mean, I got the bracket cut and then I bent it in the shape. I just need to get it painted. And then I got my custom fuse holder, I mean circuit breaker holder. Here's one look with the fuse, I mean the circuit breaker mounted in place. So there's still going to be room to put those two 10 mils. I'm going to put the 10 mils onto it, mount the bracket onto the car first when it's painted. And then you can bolt this on after with eight mils with nut certs. All right, I did a quick wrinkle black on it. It's not perfect, but uh, it'll do for now. I'm bolting it back into place. Okay, mounted into place, wiring's routed. This is the output, and this is going to go through the firewall down there. This side is coming out underneath the fuse box, going there. And then we bolt it with all these others on there, right there. Now I'm going to run the air lines through the firewall before I put the battery in. I'm going to run it through that right there. You see that cut? This side right there, you can see right there, that drama right there just cut, I'll cut earlier. Thank you. 
So I screwed up. Uh, this thing is way too close to the battery. Now to put the battery back into place with this shroud piece that um, holds the wires on this side. These things right here. Right here. This clip as well as this one. So what I end up doing is I can file what I redid. Filed a hole into the shroud so it could still kind of go into place. Yeah. Oh well. Should measure it some more before I did it. But I probably shifted this over a little, little bit more. Good look how close everything is. You can see I notched the plastic cover thing. Now it kind of clears. Mm, might clean up some more. The cuts are not that clean, but I think aesthetically it's still okay. So tight. Oh, I mean, everything still kind of fits now. There's one last look. Like I said, I might clean this up a little bit more, but there's more clearance now. Small ends. Nothing's gonna really move too much. Battery's about to back into place. Fuse over there. 